Meghan and Harry shares detailed visit in the UK without Archie and Lilibot. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex landed Saturday morning. Prince Harry and Meghan have arrived in the UK for their first visit since attending the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. The couple landed on Saturday morning after shunning the use of a private jet and flying commercial. Their children, Archie and Lilibet, did not appear to be with them. It was confirmed in August that Harry and Meghan would be returning to British soil, with a spokesperson for the couple saying at the time. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are delighted to visit with several charities close to their hearts in early September. The couple will also travel to Manchester for the One Young World Summit. An event that brings together young leaders from more than 190 countries, on 5 September. The Duchess of Sussex is a counsellor for the organisation, alongside Justin Trudeau, Sir Richard Branson, and Jamie Oliver, among others. During their stay, Harry and Meghan will briefly visit Germany for the Invictus Games Dusseldorf 2023 one-year-to-go event. Before returning to the UK for the World Child Awards on 8 September, their visit to the UK will be the first time they have been back in the country since the Platinum Jubilee celebrations in early June. It remains to be seen whether they will be able to spend time with the Queen during their time in the UK. The monarch is currently on a summer break at Balmoral, having travelled to Scotland in July. The return comes just days after Meghan's wide-ranging interview. With the cut in which she said it takes a lot of effort to forgive and hinted that she can say anything. In the interview by Alison P. Davis for the New York Times magazine, Meghan said that just by existing she and Harry were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy before they stepped down as senior working royals. Meghan also gave an insight into their LA home, Archie's school and the fact she may start up her Instagram account once more. In a post on the website of their foundation Archival, Meghan and Harry congratulated young people in California who supported the Design It For Us campaign which raised awareness for a new policy aimed at ensuring youngsters are safer online. They wrote, We are so encouraged to see the next generation stand up, speak up, and push for a better digital environment for themselves and their peers. We are equally encouraged to see our public leaders actively respond to the reality and scope of online harms. As parents of two young children in California, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex extend their deep gratitude to these young advocates, their supporters, and all the leaders who listened to them and acted, they added. Your tireless dedication will help make the internet a safer, more hopeful place. Meghan and Harry are raising three-year-old Archie and one-year-old Lilibet in Montecito, California, two as north of Los Angeles. Known legally as Assembly Bill 2273, or the California Age Appropriate Design Code Act. The bill passed unanimously in the California State Assembly and Senate this week. The governor now needs to sign it into law. It requires companies to prioritize the safety and privacy of children on any digital product or service that children in California are likely to access. Their message comes as the pair are set to visit the UK, where they will attend the One Young World Manchester Summit on the 5th of September before flying to Germany for the Invictus Games Dusseldorf one year to go ceremony. The Duke and Duchess will then return to the UK for the World Child Awards 2022 in London on the 8th of September. It is not thought that they will visit the Queen in Balmoral nor bring their children. Williams revealed on the first episode that she confided in Meghan about a decision to retire from her career as a professional tennis player. In fact, the athlete said that Meghan knew about it for a long time and even talked with Harry about it a lot as well. Markel recalled, I remember that day you were here at the house and I was like, what are you two chatting about? Amid their hour long conversation, Williams said, he was trying to knock some sense into me. Meghan noted that she can understand, seemingly alluding to her big decision to exit from her royal life in March 2020. I think both of us, or the three of us, really know that sometimes the right decision isn't the easiest decision. Markel said of herself, Harry and Williams. It's a hard decision and it takes a lot of thought. And a lot of counsel and a lot of support to just go ah uh, uh, and just make the choice, she concluded. Mariah Carey was a featured guest on the second episode of Archetypes. Titled The Duality of Diva, where they discussed today's negative connotations of the word diva and being biracial. 
The pop icon opened up about how she didn't fit in during her youth due to constant moving and living in polarizing neighborhoods. You know, it would be more of the black area of town. Or then you could be where my mom chose to live, were the more, the white neighborhoods, Carrie explained. But for Megan, Carrie was a trailblazing figure of representation and influence. While Megan noted that for them, fitting in is very different because we are light-skinned. She referenced a specific time, when she felt particularly labeled. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.